Hello, Teacher Kim here, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be really short and quick. I just wanted to um, hop on here for a second. I just finished classes and wiped off my lipstick, so I apologize. Uh, but I had a shock in class today, and so I thought I would talk about it with you for just a second and, um, it's, and, and kind of give you a little bit of advice, especially if you're new to teaching online or even if you've been here a while. Um, so I had a class with, uh, with I tutor group with two students, which, like I said before, is always on the weekends. Um, it was direct and indirect objects, which is a very hard concept when English is not your native language. I'm going to take these off so I look a little more human. I don't like myself in glasses. Uh, but um, it's really kind of a hard concept. I remember personally learning that stuff when I hit like fifth, sixth grade. Um, these students were level five, six, which puts them about, if you work for VIP Kid, puts them about level three to maybe four. It's kind of a hard concept to, to wrap your mind around, especially with two students in only 25 minutes. So we went through the material as best we could, simple examples, repeating and practicing over and over. The whole lesson I'm literally in my head thinking, they aren't getting this. It's just too hard for these students. They seem to be more lower level than higher end of four, so like maybe low three, um, based on VIP kids. So they were low five, six with that tutor. They just really did not seem to understand. One of the students um, was having trouble reading some of the simple sentences. The other student reads really well, but didn't seem to quite understand it as well. Um, some of it she was catching on, some of it, it's a little confusing. I had them make their own examples. Um, and honestly, I really felt like I'm going to get a low rating for this. The whole class, that's how I felt. I literally closed it out, wrote the reports thinking, I'm going to get a low rating. So I was honest in their reports. I told them it's a really hard concept. They need extra practice with it. But they did really well to understand the basics of it. And it's true, they did. They, they started catching on to it. Um, what the basics of this was. So I was like, okay, well, I did the best I could with something that was really above above their heads. Um, with iTutor Group, we get feedback within 24 hours, which can be good and it can be bad. So you either get no rating at all, which shows up as a zero, so it looks really scary, but it's no rating. Or you can get a 1 to a 10, a 10 scale. Um, I was really, and by the way, this is like today's February 2nd. So this is the beginning of the month. Uh, the rating scales start over each month. Um, not necessarily for the week. You can still see the prior stuff, obviously. But they have a little counter and it resets to zero. Uh, so at the beginning of the month, if you get a low rating, it looks really scary. Because all they pull up is the month. Um, obviously, you can pull up more and see that you're not as bad as it looks, but it's scary. So, I left that class thinking I would be getting a 1, a 2, a really low rating. Taught my next class. Um, and said, sometimes I won't check my feedback. I just won't. Um, feedback doesn't affect my pay, so sometimes I don't check it. But it's one of these times that I was like, I kind of want to know. So I went uh, to look at my feedback. Y'all, I got two tens. Both students left me a 10. I think they realized that they were a little out of their depth on this. But they were starting to catch on and they kind of understood I was trying to help them just get the basics of it. And I got like all these great remarks like, um, I can read it for you. I think I still have it pulled up. Uh, energetic, enthusiastic, interesting, friendly, earnest, patient, rigorous. You know, I got two tens. I really did not expect to get, did not expect to get tens out of that lesson. I thought if I was lucky, I might get like a seven and eight. That's what I was pulling last month. I pulled a bunch of tens, but some sevens and eights, and that's okay. I've said before, sorry, I said before, I'll say it again, I'm not perfect. But, it makes you feel better to know that they understood that it was hard, but that 
and it's something they needed to practice on, but that they, but I knew they were getting it and they were making progress. So something I would tell you, here's my piece of advice is one, we are our own worst critics. I came out of that lesson thinking I bombed it. Honestly, came out thinking I bombed it. You are going to be your own worst critic. If you are worried about how you're doing and you want someone else to kind of help you, talk you through it, then ask someone, you can ask me, ask someone else um, who is experienced to watch one of your classes. You can record it. We can record pieces of it and, and let someone see how you're doing and maybe to help you work on something if there's something you think you're struggling with. Um, but have faith in yourself. I've said before, have confidence that you can do this. You were hired for a reason, so you can do it. Um, two, it's okay to bomb. It's okay if you mess up. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to not give your best Sometimes you're not going to be a hundred percent, a hundred percent of the time just doesn't work that way. We are human, but try your best every single class to make connections, to, um, build rapport, to connect with those students. And, and it helps. It really does. Um, so yeah, have confidence and it's okay to bomb. (laughs) Um, be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself as a teacher because you are human. And it's okay. Bad ratings are not the end of the world. I've gotten them. I've gotten them in both companies, my two main companies. It's okay. So that's all I want to let you know. Sometimes things turn out better than you think they're going to, and sometimes you're going to bomb it, and it's okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.